So welcome to the next episode of what else has this lying scumbag lied about with the X5. One thing he said when I messaged him, I said, does all the tow bar and everything work? I need a tow bar this weekend. Yep, all works, mate. Cool. Come down again. He rings me um, after I've left the deposit. He goes, I've had a trailer hooked up to it, mate. It all works fine. Always great. No, it doesn't. As you can see, I've got the trailer here. We've put the electrics on and the electrics aren't working. I've actually borrowed Kelsey's trailer. Thank you so much, Kelsey. Um, and he, he come and we put the Mustang on. Huge thank you to him and his girlfriend. Um, I have forgot your name, girlfriend. <laughs> I think it might be Vic. <laughs> sorry, I forgot your name, but you were really nice. I'm really sorry that I forgot your name, but I'm pretty sure it was Vic. Um, anyway, hooked it up and no electrics whatsoever. So huge thank you to you, Mohammed, who has lied about something else. You've been a really nice guy and you've lied about absolutely everything. Half tempted to put your phone number on here and people can make your life a little bit of hell considering you've made my life hell. Um, half tempted to do that, but annoying because I actually am a nice guy. So yeah, anyway, we need to fix this. Last night, we ended up, we found where the wiring goes for this. Found it, found it, found it. Um, and there's a module under here and for some reason it's an aftermarket module and the module i don't know if it's overheated or it's got a bit of water on it it's just melted the board um so i was speaking to some people last night huge thanks to everyone on instagram who i was talking to last night um including paul cheers paul you've told me what i can do i can buy a bypass relay and i can wire it up myself the only reason i can't just wire it up myself is because it's got a canvas on it so this but this bypass relay will allow it to work with canvas i'm not quite sure but what we're going to do is but because the annoying thing is because i've got an aftermarket wiring loom on there i need to manually mark the wires myself so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take off the plug on here and um, take off the wiring on here um, and see just which wire goes where and label it then we're going to have to come in here and then we need to basically get the plug off to the back lights and we need to know again which wire does what and then we're going to have to splice in our own wiring loom so first of all i'm going to take everything out and i'm going to start basically getting a note section i'm going to label every color of the wire which one's brake light which one's left you know which one's brake light left indicator right indicator side light etc so let's get some shit out the car and let's get on with that because it's six in the morning and i have got to sell the ball at 11. i've got a zoom call at two and then i've got to drive down to Donington at like four so <laughs> cool let's get on it right so i've got this off here that was just bolted to this um two of them came off with a screw i have to grind the last one off because it was rusty now what we can do is here we can pull this back and then we just take note of what wire does what so i'm going to plug this side in um and then you can get a wiring diagram online or even easier if you want to just open up these pins here just literally open up this screw you can see the colors of the wires and then i'm going to mark them down and what does what then once i know what color does what here is the wiring loom for that i can get my relay box and i can splice into this from the loom here i just need to know what these do i can't find a wiring diagram online what wire does what there i've got one that thinks it's that um, but worst case, I can just use a multimeter and just see which one's getting power when I press different things. <sighs> Let's crack on. We're going to have this fixed today, guys. I promise you. Right, so I've literally took the casings off both of them. This is for the trailer. This is for the car. Now, I know what wire does what there because these are universal, these seven pins. So I'm just going to mark up. So, for example, blue is white. And I just need to know what white is and then mark that. So come on let's write and that's uh, so let's get the notes up and let's uh, make a nice little wiring diagram the annoying thing is this pin i can't get a multimeter in there which is fucking very annoying i can't get a multimeter down inside there i don't think they have like a proper probe either and i can't get them in there i don't think i have any like solder wire that i could use either oh to be fair i probably could use some solder wire i think i've got some i know where some is right i've got the indicator which is green from either side um this first one is the lights the black and brown one and now what i've done is i've held the brake held it in place with the breaker bar and now we can just find that last 12 volt or whatever volt and i'm pretty sure it's going to be the orange one um let me just double check right i've got everything down here so these are the wiring um codes for the plug down there and these are the wiring codes from the um the back lights i did start on this side and i was like wait why am i doing that because all this is it it's gonna be way harder to chop into 
So swapped it over, we've got so much room here. Um, so the green at the indicators on both sides, you've got the black and blue at the end here, which is the brake, and then you've got the black and white, which is the side lights in there. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna go to B&Q, and I'm gonna go and get that by bypass relay, um, and then I'm gonna get some wiring, and we're gonna come back, and we're gonna wire it all up, and it better fucking work. It's seven o'clock in the morning now, B&Q opens at seven, let's go. So just when I thought my day was going to plan, um, why do shops do this? B and Q, they list it on the website, right? And then you get to the store and it goes, oh, it's just online, it's online order only. Why are you on your fucking website then? Take it off the website. You've got a big enough warehouse, do you know what I mean? Like you've got a massive, massive, massive warehouse. You've got nothing but space on the, on the fucking racks. You stock the most bullshit of shit ever. But this is like, I expect if Halfords stock something, I would expect B and Q to, you know, to stock it. It's so annoying, so I go there, then I go to another Motor Factors, oh, we don't have, we don't have any, any either, so now I'm on the way to another Motor Factors. Uh, well, anyway, I got there at 7, now it's 8, fucking faffing around. This is another Motor Factors, 14 minutes away. He said he's got one, well, he said he's got a ring, he, it sounds like he's got one. He didn't say bypass relay, but he said rings, smart relay shit thing. I'm on the way to him now, if that's not the right thing, I have to go to Halfords. Um, it's just, I'm just going all the way around bloody Warrington. Um, it's so frustrating, so frustrating, so frustrating, so frustrating, but this will work and it will be fixed. I'm so annoyed, I've got so many things on. I actually need to be filming a YouTube integration today, but I've just genuinely not got time. <sighs> Fuck! Right, apparently this is it. So I've got that, I've got some wiring, got some of these things, which I don't really like using, but hard times, comfort, desperate times, you have a desperate, desperate measure. So I've got them, I'm just gonna fucking throw them on. Um, let's get home and then let's ring Paul. Um, Paul with the M4 and he's gonna talk us through it. Hopefully it's easy. He says it's gonna take 10 minutes. I pray it does. Okay, so I've just been on the phone to Paul. He used to wire these up for a living. We've got the relay here, okay? Now what he says is, these are like um, reverse lamps and fog lamps and shit, but we've only got seven pin, so we don't need that. We probably do need the fog lamps, but I'm not worrying about that today because it's not really that important. So these are all the wiring, and he's explained where all the wires go, and just to help us, we have a wiring loom here. So we have yellow, that's a left-hand indicator. So this needs to go over there to that indicator we have a green so this needs to come over here to this indicator on this loom reds are the brake light oh, not that one sorry uh red this one here is the brake light so that can come over here they need to get power he said you can just splice them together and just give them a, a switch live um or a, or a live constant whatever and then he says these are for the side light and you can put them together and just put that into one side light and then we need to ground this to chassis and then i need to ground the other one to chassis too as well let's start splicing guys funnily enough he, he, he says at one point these were the only certified things to use for tow bars so yeah we're not too bad okay this looks like absolutely absolute mumbo jumbo and it is um so basically off the wires off the plug they come into here and you just got to follow this little diagram here of where to put the original wires got power i'm just tapped into a fuse not the best way of doing it but it is what it is at least i know if it's going to work and um, they could probably get a proper fuse holder etc um that's got power that's got everything over there it's got everything over there I just need to just ground it and then we can turn it on my god i hope this works right it's grounded it's got power everything's plugged in Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, indicator's on, headlights are on, come on. Please, 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 please. Yes, 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 yes. Get wrecked, get wrecked. Oh, yes, yes. Paul, thank you so much, you are the fucking man. You are the man. Everyone go give Paul a follow on Instagram. Please, please, please. Well, no, you're not going to, but thank you, Paul. Tidied up all the wires. I've actually put the uh, compressor and bolted that back down as well, because that was all I was hanging about the place. All the cable tied the wires nice and tight, well, as best as I can do anyway. Let's put everything back together. Let's go and sell the damn borer. Oh, we're trucking now, boys. Sorry, I didn't film the first process. I've been really busy trying to get on the road at the right time, but the Mustang's here. She's behind. Big rig boys, big rig, she's doing all right so far. She's doing all right so far. It's quite scary, but it's also really fun. She's about to jump on the motorway, so she should be nice and chill on the motorway. Although I think the wheels are not balanced on the front of this, so it's a bit wobbly at the front with the, with the, the wheels a bit wobbly at the front, but she's doing all right. Come on the X5, come on the X5. We even cleaned the steering wheel yesterday. 
We cleaned the steering wheels first thing I wanted to do, get that grubby little scumbag's paws off the steering wheel. Oh my god guys, Mohammed actually left us something that works on the car. The cigarette lighter. It works guys, can you believe it? Something works on the X5. I must admit, she's doing alright so far. I don't want to jinx it, but she's doing well so far. Obviously all thanks to me. Um, and my impeccable electrician skills and mechanic mechanics. Uh, but thanks to the cigarette light, Mohammed. Very kind of you, what a nice guy. We've got like two minutes away and I thought, fuck, we're not gonna fuel the Mustang. This is the, this is the hard bit about the training, going on roads like this, because it is wider than the X5. Like the tires stick out way further. I should be able, I should get out the mirrors really, but so we're gonna have to go 10 minutes out of our way to get some uh, get some fuel and pray that they've got 99 octane there. I know that Donington Park have like one um, one little fuel station thing, but it's hardly ever open and it's expensive as fuck as well, obviously. So we're gonna make a little trip to Esso and pray that they've got 99. But well, this is beautiful around here. The, the X5's been great. She's been really good to be fair. It's weird driving something slow. Well, it's not slow, obviously. It's, well, it is slow. It's weird driving something slow. I've not driven anything slow in so long. But it's okay, we've, we've, we've had a great time. It's not been stressful. Um, we had to reverse once, which was a little bit scary because as again, I, I can't see anything because the trailer's wider than the car. Um, I literally can't see fucking anything when the trailer's like at any bit of an angle. So it's, that's a bit terrifying reversing. But here's Donington Park. We're gonna have to go out of the way a little bit and come back. But Donington Park is here. We're gonna set up, get the, get the car off the trailer, uh, get the tires on and get, get everything ready tomorrow so we don't have to fuck around in the morning. But that's it, but we'll be going there in a minute. So we got fuel, we're filled up. It was a bit of a faff because only one of the pumps had 99. So. It, it was it was enough. It was a bit annoying. It was not fun, but we're filled up. I don't even know how much fuel's in the world. I just bought like 70 quid in, so I, that's pretty much like a full tank. Funny enough, the Mustang. I always did it like a GT. It's meant to be like a touring car. The, the tank is tiny. Like it might take like 70 70 quid, like full, and that's like a full tank. But we're at Donington Park now. We're so excited to get in there. First thing to have a wee. Um, I'm guessing Yogi and I are around. I think they said that they might be having a barbecue. So hopefully they're all there having a beer, whatever. That'd be cool. Um, but we guess we'll see what happens. But here we are, Donington Park. Donington Park. Yeah. Watch, every time I come to Donington Park, I always go in the wrong entrance and they go, oh, you need to come in the other entrance. I'm like, for fuck's sake. Although, to be fair, this is usually the entrance. This is Donington Park, everyone. This is a great circuit. Um, I don't like doing track days because they're a bit boring, but track days on Donington Park are awesome. The track's just so flowy and so fast and not harsh on the car, it's great. So we made it here, look at this spicy S14 as well. We made it here. Um, there's a few guys here, I think Yogi's coming over soon, but I'm gonna get the, the Mustang off the trailer um, and then I'm gonna start a YouTube video. I'm gonna do a YouTube video of, of the whole day. Obviously we're drift taxiing, which is gonna be so good. So people are gonna come and like pay and then I'm gonna take them out. So absolutely awesome, I can't fucking wait. But let's get the Mustang off the trailer and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next YouTube video.